I'm sure you've heard of these little Wise security cameras. They've got pretty good quality, they're really affordable, and now they've got artificial intelligence smarts. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. It can detect objects and things and animals. It can read words. It can even tell what brand of a car it's detecting. It really is a cool feature, you gotta see. And if you stick around to the B side, I'll break down the subscription prices and show you how to turn this feature on inside the Wise app. Jack it before you wreck it, what's up geeks? I'm Kirk, and I'm really excited to show you this feature that I've been playing with for about a week or two on the Wise Beta app that I got early access to, and essentially it adds cloud AI to your Wise camera notifications. There is an extra fee associated with this, and I'm gonna break down the subscription prices later in the video, but for now, I just wanna jump right in and show you exactly how this AI feature works. So let me go into the app here. Again, this is a beta version of the app, but the released version should look exactly the same. And now, once you've got this turned on, when you go into the events tab at the bottom, you get your standard events, and you'll see front doorbell, back patio, garage, the very typical events that tell you, you know, there's a doorbell notification with a person, and that's pretty much all they tell you. If you tap into that notification, for example, it'll play the video and show me that there's a person sort of walking out of the door. It did detect that this was me, so it's got my name there. But let me show you what that looks like when I go into this new feature, which is called Descriptive Alerts. Now, instead of just getting notifications, I get a description of what the notification is, but you can imagine how useful this would be if you're getting a bunch of notifications throughout the day, you don't really review all those videos, all those little snippets of video that come from your house, but man, it sure would be nice to know if something was out of the ordinary. That's exactly what Descriptive Alerts is all about. So let me show you some of these. So for example, this one tells me from my doorbell camera, there's a night vehicle passing. A white vehicle and a white pickup truck are parked on a snow covered street at night. It's kind of cool, kind of helpful. Okay, so this is that same notification I showed you before where it detected me, but now it's gotten more specific. So take a look, it says Kirk package delivery. A person, Kirk, received a package at the door. A vehicle is parked outside. It is a sunny day with snow on the ground. Pretty interesting, but let me show you how it gets even more specific. So this one is from my back patio camera and it says, a pet is playing on a snowy patio near a hot tub and grill. The pet is light brown and appears to be a dog which all of that is specific and accurate. There's a hot tub in the background, there is a grill there, and our light colored dog is in fact playing in the backyard. Or how about this one? This was inside my garage on my garage camera. The title says, Garage Vehicle Check, and the description says, a person is seen walking around a light gray Ford Bronco in a garage. The garage door is closed. How interesting is that? Now, it may have picked up Bronco from the front grill because it does say Bronco on it, or it was just able to figure out which kind of car it was seeing based on the AI. And this other one kind of makes me think that it can actually detect these vehicles because we've got our minivan in the garage here and it says a gray Toyota Sienna and a light gray Ford Bronco are parked in a garage. Now the Sienna doesn't say Sienna anywhere on it, so clearly it might be picking up the Toyota emblem from the front, or maybe just picking up which kind of car it is just from that picture that shows the front of the minivan, which man, that's actually pretty impressive when you think about it, not to mention it's doing it in a split second or maybe one or two seconds from the time it captures the video to the time it sends me the notification on my phone, which is pretty instantaneous. Or look at this one. This one says, UPS truck arrived. A brown UPS truck is parked on the street. A white car is parked on the left side of the street. There is snow on the ground. So it detected that it was a UPS truck and it doesn't look like the video is clear enough because the truck's on the other side of the road to read the truck, but clearly from just the logo and the color of the truck, it was able to decide that that's a UPS truck. And I thought this was pretty impressive too. This one says plumbing truck arrived. A plumbing service truck is parked on the street. A silver car is parked nearby. The scene is outdoors on a sunny day. So I'm trying to figure out how did it know that this was a plumbing truck? Well, the only way to know is that it must have read the word plum on the side of the truck. So this AI can not only detect specific brands without words or specific cars without knowing which kind of car it is, but it can also read the words off the side of a truck. So I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty cool. And if I can get a notification saying that someone's entering my back door, 
That's a lot different than a notification saying that it detected leaves blowing in my backyard because that's the problem with these cameras now, just any security camera in general, is that when it detects motion, we kind of become desensitized to all those notifications on our phone to the point where we're not really paying attention. But if it said something different and, and you saw the little emojis it was sending and the emoji didn't look like the normal notification that I'm getting, I would notice that, I would jump in and take a closer look. And that's the whole point, right? It's not about you know the gimmicky kind of thing of telling me what it's seeing, it's more about helping to discern from one notification to the next, a notification that doesn't matter versus a notification that actually would matter. For example, if I'm at home and it detects somebody walking in my house on my back patio. Okay, so you've made it to the B side here of the video and I wanna show you exactly how to make sure this feature is turned on if you have the proper subscription plan. So go to the Wise app and in the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna see the option called account. Tap on that, once you get in there, you should have a new option. It's about four down from the top and it's called Wise Intelligence. Tap into there and you've got a few options here. So Friendly Faces is an option that uh, has sort of been around in various incarnations with uh, security cameras for a while where it can detect different faces. So you can put your face in there, your family's faces, and that way you saw, for example, on my front porch, it detected that I was the one walking out the front door versus a stranger walking up to my door instead. And then you've got video search and descriptive alert. Now video search lets you enable video search on all of your cameras or just some of your cameras if you wanna be able to search events based on their AI descriptions. And then descriptive alert is this brand new feature. And you'll see a bunch of different options in here. First of all, you can enable or disable the push notifications. You can change the sound. You can actually have it call a voice over IP phone if you'd like to do that. And you can also enable regular notifications or descriptive alert notifications right here for every single one of your cameras. So you may not want descriptive alert notifications for some cameras, but you may want it for others. You've got to go in here and turn all this stuff on. If you don't turn this on, descriptive alerts is not going to work. So you want to go in here and turn all of these features on if you want to use these descriptive alerts, because if you don't turn them on, it's simply not going to work. And the first time you turn it on, I believe there were a couple of uh, pop-ups that said, hey, do you agree to have AI used, et cetera, et cetera. So read through those warnings, make sure you're okay with everything and then turn that on. Okay, now for the details on the subscription plan because previously they had a couple of options. You could pay per camera, which was just a couple of bucks, or you could pay $10 a month for unlimited cameras. The new plan is now called Cam Unlimited Pro with descriptive alerts. And this plan is more expensive. In fact, it's double the price. For unlimited cameras, it's $19.99 per month, or you can pay $199.99 per year. So you're essentially doubling the price of the subscription plan. You still get cloud recordings. You actually get 60 days of cloud storage. So that's extended. And you get the AI video search, the AI descriptive alerts. So you can use all that AI stuff with this new plan. But yeah, it's going to raise the price Price. And is that worth the price increase for you? Is this maybe Wise's way of just kind of figuring out a way to add some features and raise the price? Maybe they wanted to raise the price anyhow. I'm not quite sure, but I can't wait to read your comments. What do you guys think? Are you comfortable with this AI descriptive text thing? I mean, if you're already having your videos sent to the cloud anyhow, and a lot of these companies, Wise included, have had their share of security issues, do the descriptive alerts actually change anything? Are you okay with this? And more importantly, are you willing to spend more for the subscription plan to get a feature like this? I love this feature. I think it's super cool. I think it'll make those notifications a lot more useful. I'm just not sure if people are willing to double the price of their subscription plan to get the AI descriptive alerts. I can't wait to read those comments. I read every single one. I try to write back on every single comment as well. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more geeky videos coming your way right here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.